Vaccines offer protection from infections that can seriously impact health, such as flu and COVID. Vaccination programs are also costly. Development of a new vaccine or changes to our understanding of the groups of people at greatest risk from a disease can change vaccination policy. But how do we determine what effects these changes have on how many people become infected, end up in hospital, or even die? How do we know whether changes to vaccination programmes will provide value for money for the NHS? Exploring these questions requires a range of knowledge. The MEMV project team has mathematicians who create models to describe how diseases spread through populations and how vaccinations might change this. Health economists, who study costs and health benefits for the efficient use of healthcare resources, and experts working with the public to make sure that public voices are involved in this process. What can mathematical models tell us about how infectious diseases spread? They can help us to understand where we might have missed an important factor in disease spread. Models help us to quantify things like how long people take to recover. Trying different approaches helps researchers find the best settings for their models, based on the data available and how the model needs to work. Mathematical models also help us to explore what-if scenarios. These models group populations based on whether they're infected or not and how seriously the disease might affect them. They can piece together other information to explore what might happen in the larger population. To assess the potential impact of a vaccine programme, Mathematical models can include how likely vaccination reduces the chance of infection, having symptoms, people being admitted to hospital or dying. But how do we compare the impact of the effects of vaccines on the health of the population with the cost of vaccination? Health economists help healthcare providers to make decisions about how cost-effective vaccination programmes are. They weigh up the health benefits and monetary costs. They do this by looking at different measures of health such as the number of years people are likely to live in good health, and they compare the costs of vaccination with other healthcare costs, such as the cost of hospital stays. For a new vaccination programme to be considered cost-effective, it needs to meet certain thresholds. As there can be uncertainty in how well the model will predict what will happen in the real world, models will look at different possibilities. Public involvement in health research provides researchers and decision-makers with insights into people's experiences and preferences. People from across society can have a voice and be involved in how these decisions are made. Vaccination modelling hasn't typically involved members of the public. However, since 2013, vaccination modelling researchers at the University of Warwick and health economists at the University of Oxford have been working with a group of public contributors. The project is called Mathematical and Economic Modelling for Vaccination and Immunisation Evaluation, or MEMVI. We've developed a public involvement framework with different stages where public contributors can help researchers, reviewing the relevance of the research question, assessing the data used, model choices and assumptions, troubleshooting, interpreting results and decision-making. Using public involvement increases the breadth of knowledge contributing to vaccination modelling, which supports effective decision-making for routine vaccination programmes in England.